Yes, guys and girls, as it's 23 back with another Fallout 76 video on the channel for you today. Uh, first of all, I just want to apologize uh, for not uploading for the last two, two and a half weeks, I think now. Uh, I've been upgrading my PC, had to buy a new CPU, had to buy a new motherboard, you know, I had to get that new Ryzen 5600. Um, so as a result, I haven't been able to play Fallout, and then off the back of that, I obviously can't upload videos. But I'm back with a banger, hopefully. And this video is going to be how to solo daily ops. Um, there's a couple of reasons why you might want to solo daily ops. You might be someone that doesn't really play with anyone else. You just play on your own. Fallout um, historically has always been a solo game. A game you play on your own. And I know a lot of people do that in Fallout 76. I do it um, quite a lot sometimes. And also you might want to farm daily ops. Because I know obviously um, you only get your, your rare plan daily. But you can get rare weapons, scrip, gold, ammo, XP, uh, and all them good good things by farming daily ops over and over. And if you can keep doing that, a seven minute uh, seven minute cap, then happy days. But um, we're going to jump into a couple of tips, a couple of uh, do's and don'ts. For me, the first tip I can give you is be high enough level. Uh, so what I mean by that is the minimum level, minimum recommended level for daily ops at the moment is 50. Um, which makes sense because you can normally you're going to be in a team But if you are running daily ops solo, I would highly recommend being around about 65 70 The reason for this is you really need to optimize your build um, Everything else you do in fallout um, whether it's uh, wastelanders DLC whether it's steel dawn DLC any normal missions You can get away with just having a build that just has the most random perks on to be honest You're never really going to struggle too much on a game especially with one wasteland but when you're going into daily ops, you are facing high level enemies and these high level enemies are going to do some high level damage and also they're going to take a lot of damage. So you want to you want to be able to put out as much damage as possible while also taking a lot of damage. So we're going to have a quick look at my build. Um, it's not the most amazing build by all means. It's just a junkies build actually. Um, and the reason being is because I have a, a junkies fixer. Uh, junkies handmade, sorry, not junkies fixer. So I'm addicted to five things, which are like alcohol, uh, daddy o, those those basic addictions, and these are my perks. What I would um, say is the best for me is obviously fireproof, uh, not fireproof, sorry, demolition expert, because I do have an explosive gun that I'm going to be using, which always helps. Obviously, fireproof negates the uh, the damage back to me, and I do have a uh, dense uh, torso mod as well, so I barely take any blowback. Um, Action Boy, I think, is going to be a good friend of yours. Um, obviously, this is by no means um, a build guide. This is just some perks that I think will help solo daily ops. Because I tend to use VATs quite a lot in daily ops. And Action Boy obviously regenerates your AP 45% faster, which is always good. So when I say build optimization, you know, you don't want to have green thumbs on when you're running into a daily ops. You want to have your commandos on if you're running an automatic rifle. You want to have your rifleman on if you're running a semi-automatic rifle. You want to do as much damage as possible. In fact, I could probably have some better perks on here. Um... I've changed a couple of these round because of the backpack video I did last time I uploaded. Um, so that's that's the first tip I can give you. Just make sure your build is optimized so that you can go in there and hold your own. And the second tip I'm going to give you is just come prepared. So when I say come prepared, you know, you, you want to make sure you have enough ammo. You want to make sure you have enough stim packs. You want to make sure the durability on your weapons is okay. So if I look at my weapons now... The two shot suppressed automatic handmade that I use that is explosive. The condition is absolutely fine. The other gun that I use, condition is more than fine. So, it, you know, you don't want to be fighting the team or the boss or even just when you're boosting the signal. You, you don't want your gun breaking and then you're wasting time. Because time is key in in uh, in getting the max rank in daily ops. And you don't want to waste it using repair kits and things like this. So, you know, repair your weapons before you go in there. Honestly, it will do you the world of good. And like I said, you want to make sure you've got enough ammo. So myself, I'm going to be using 5.56 rounds. I've got 5,000 of them. More than enough for me, of course. And stim packs. How many stim packs? I've got 17 stim packs on me. Come on, that's more than enough right now. So, you know, be prepared. Uh, carry weights. I wouldn't worry about carry weight too much going into daily ops. Unless you are someone that's going to start looting the enemies every time you kill one of them. This is something I would advise against. You have plenty of time once you've done daily ops to go around and loot enemies that way. Otherwise, you're just going to uh, fill up your carry weight. And you, you really don't want to be doing that, do you? Um, 
So what we're going to do, we're going to jump into daily ops right now. We're going to see what is actually happening, what is on today. Uh, we've got Vault 94 Blood Eagles that explode on death. And as I mentioned earlier, I don't take any explosive damage um, because I've got the dense mod and I've got fireproof on. So like I said, optimization for your build. I'm just going to quickly join this now and we'll cut to when we're into the daily ops. Alright guys, here we are in Vault 94, ready to take on daily ops. Um, before we do, a couple more tips. Um, as, as we're all very aware, speed is king in daily ops, but I just want to let you guys know, just because you have to do something in under 8 minutes doesn't mean you have to run around frantically like a headless chicken, 100 miles an hour. You know, sometimes just, you know, take that step back, plan your next step. And, and go from there, take it easy. Um, for perfect example, uh, the other day I was stuck in Vault 94 actually. To the right of me was like so many super mutants and the freezing effect was on and I knew, I always go to the to the one repeater first and I knew if I would have gone to that one, I'd have been stuck, frozen because of them. So I went to the other one and that was simply just me, you know, taking that step back, evaluating the situation and going from there. Sometimes just running around and trying to do things 100 miles an hour uh, immediately isn't actually time effective so just keep that in mind um, the second tip as well you know know your way around guys know the format of daily ops um, if you don't know by now uh, the way daily ops works is you go and repair the signal repeater this then shows the location for two um, uplinks that you got to boost the signal on you know you go to uplink A, you stand there, as we're doing it solo, we're going to get the slowest possible uplink speed, you you stay there until it's boosted, you go to the next one, from there then you locate and destroy an enemy team, and then from there you beat a big bad boss, once you beat the big bad boss, you've completed daily ops, so knowing the layout of things can really help you uh, plan ahead and utilize time a lot better, um, and we're going to talk about armor actually, so like I said, um, I haven't been on in about two weeks, but I've been rocking the Secret Service armor. I've, by all means, right, boys, they're not the best. Um, they're just basic ones. But I do now have the Dense mod on my um, on my chest piece, so I'm going to start using that uh, rather than using my Power Armor. But normally, I would just use my Excavator Power Armor. Uh, as you can see, there's nothing special. It's just level 45 Excavator Power Armor. But I was taking quite a bit of damage when I was using that from my own blowback from the explosions. Uh, which now I don't really take as you can see look. My health's not going down. And it just so happens that in this daily ops they are exploding enemies. So yeah, I'm going to give it a try for the first time in just my normal um, armor without my power armor. But if you want to rock power armor you don't have dents, you don't have explosive bullets like myself. Go ahead and use the normal excavator power armor. And while I was giving you the tip to utilize your build, I noticed I had Ammo Smith on, where I normally have Adrenaline on. So I'm just going to quickly put that on. Like I said, it goes back to um, build optimization. And like I said, knowing where you're going to go, I know I've got to go right by there. I'm hoping I don't have any of them annoying stupid dogs trying and get me straight away as soon as I try and boost the signal. Because it's really frustrating. So we're going to kick this off. It's not going to be any footage cut from here guys, we're just going to literally go straight in um, and do it that way. Oh, I can see I'm taking actually quite a lot of damage. Uh, like I said, normally I would be in my power armor, so this is a first for me running it in just my secret service armor. Hopefully we can boost this before this dickhead comes and hits me. Yeah, he took his time, didn't he? He didn't even want to hit me. So we all know how daily ops work, so we're just going to... Guys, this gun is a shredder. I never normally use this in daily ops. I normally use my um, uh, flamer plasma rifle, but I've gone from rifleman to commando now because I've, I've pulled this gun and I want to give it a test. The only thing that worries me with this gun is it got uh, a 25 bullet mags. So when it comes to the boss, I might waste a lot of time reloading. Uh, but we'll, you know, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. I'm taking a lot more damage than I normally would in my excavator power armor as well, but it is what it is. I got plenty of stim packs, like I told you, come prepared at all times. Ha! <laughs> got a crippled head. And the thing is, as well, guys, you don't always have to engage in daily ops. Obviously, I'm going to engage with this big bastard in his power armor. We don't always have to engage. If you want to just play 
play the corners, play the angles, you can really just float around here almost like it's Call of Duty and just, you know, use the angles to your advantage. That way then you're going to use less bullets and you can just run straight past them then, honestly. Yeah, this 25 round uh, mag is uh, a little bit mad. It's got me a bit scared when it comes to the boss. I do have a quad fixer that we pulled in the uh, script video the other day, which is, well, I say the other day, it's about two weeks ago now, which is an incredible fixer. Oh, where's all my stim packs gone? I'll pick up a couple on these guys anyway while, uh, while, we're, just, while we're just doing this. Ah, uh, that's probably what it is. Any spaced impacts, lads? To be honest, I think what it is, is it's showing me... Yeah, yeah, photo. It's fine. So we know straight away we're we'll going to the next one. I wasted a bit of time there actually, but um, like I said, we know exactly where the next one is. We're gonna run over there. Little tip: you can start running just before the uh, signal gets to the end. So we're gonna boost up this one now. And while this is boosting, don't forget to uh, subscribe to the channel, guys. I really hope this video is helping you out. Um, you know, I, uh, just a small. YouTuber at the moment, but I'm hoping that you're enjoying this content. Taking a bit of a beat in there. Yeah, this small mag isn't helping at all for me. Probably should have used my uh, my more familiar build on my first day back on Fallout and while uploading quite a uh, beefy video, but you know. It also works as a showcase for this gun, so can't complain. So I did I did advise against looting enemies while you're uh, while you're in the main action on daily ops, but you know if if these enemies die in the area where you're boosting the signal, by all means go there quickly grab a stim pack like I've just done there. Um, I lost quite a few stim packs from uh, well we we originally tried recording this bit and the uh, we had that annoying glitch where the the boost speed just stops halfway through. So, you know, we had to redo that there. So we did lose a few stim packs because of that. I'm just wondering how this gun's gonna do against the boss. What we'll have to do is hopefully we'll have the adrenaline going from the team before we get to the boss and then the 25 round mags won't be too much of a downside then against the boss in theory. As you've probably noticed guys, I'm a very laid back player. Um, I will just walk past an enemy at times because I know he's not going to kill me. It's probably not a good habit, but um, yeah. My second build um, is a bit of a tank and with him, I literally, I just stand here and just take damage constantly. Um, he was originally made as a mule to carry um, some excess weapons. Um, so his strength was really high and as a result he takes a lot of damage. So we're gonna go and find the team now. I know normally they uh, spawn up here quite a bit and then sometimes they spawn up there as well. What are we looking at? So we got one there. We're gonna have a few in here. This is where the floating markers really helps guys. Like I said, floating markers is the, for me, the best tip I can give you. See, I knew he was on the other side there. I know he's behind that wall. Uh, why 
guys. Uh, right, I'm taking way too long to kill these actually, so I'm gonna I do apologize, lads. Take them way too long here. So we've got a minute to kill the boss. I'm gonna quickly get some adrenaline here. And then we're gonna fuck off and go kill the boss. Oh no, I flopped it boys, what am I doing? Yeah, this, this gun might not be the one, you know. Still think I've got plenty of time, but I don't think this gun is the one. The reload speed is frustrating. Ah, we got him anyway. It's fine. And there we go, boys. We've just got the Elder Max rank with, what, 20 seconds, 20, 27 seconds to go. Honestly, um, that was a bit scrappy. Uh, you could tell that I haven't been on the game in a week or two, but um, it's, it helps if anything. It shows you guys how easy it is. There's plenty of mistakes I made there. You know, a couple of times I couldn't get up on here, but that's that's how easy it is, boys. That's that really is how easy it is. And I know now I can go down here. Uh, forget him. I know I can go and loot my um, my, my ammo and my stim packs on all the bodies around here. Little tip, if you are playing against Blood Eagles, the bodies will eventually start showing in paper bags. So you might want to give it a minute just to uh, let these paper bags start spawning, you know, go round. There's going to be blood piles as well, meat piles should I say. But that that's as simple as it is boys, you're going to see what, what rear plan I got because I'm not first on my um, ammo and stim packs to be honest. There we go, Elder Max rank achieved, few rewards. Hopefully we get a nice rare plan for the video. Junkies combat knife. Oh, Warglaive! I didn't have that. Banging. Um, that's an unknown plan for me, so I'm actually really excited by that. Um, I'm not a melee build, but I like having these uh, these good rare plans. I actually had the Crusader pistol um, the last time I did daily ops, I think, but about two weeks ago. So that's back-to-back -back really good plans, Warglaive and Crusader pistol. I'm trying to get the, the right leg and the right arm of the uh, Brotherhood Recon armor, but uh, to no avail. But guys, that look look how simple that was. I've, I've jumped on the game two weeks out of it. Um, it's all raw and cut footage as well, so you can see the mistakes I was making. You can see how many times it took me to get to the top of that ledge, man. I failed it a couple of times. But, you know, you don't... Like, I've got a good gun as well, guys. You don't need... Um, God roll guns to do this like I said you only really need to make sure your build is optimized so I got away with just banging out a explosive two shot handmade there and obviously I had um, demolitions expert to make the damage as high as possible but you may be rocking a junkies you may be rocking a bloodied whatever suits your build best go with it whatever puts out the most damage go with it if if this gun didn't put enough damage on on the enemy i would have just used this because this is an absolute shredder um and also there's the fixer that we got in the videos the other day which is also a shredder but really hope you enjoyed the video guys it's, it's not as hard as it seems getting uh, elder max rank on solo if you did enjoy the video if you did laugh at me messing up every now and then leave a comment say oh my god i can't believe you missed that jump about four times wow i can't believe how, how much damage you took when you were in this scenario you know oh, you went against your own advice if you see anything like that you know, call me out on it, man. Leave a comment, leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and uh, I'll be bringing out a script video tomorrow where I'll be spending a thousand script in the purveyor like we have done previously on the channel. So uh, look out for that one. Cheers.